So I want to talk about an article published in Insider that truly feels like a parody to me. It's it's laughable, it's ridiculous, it's unreasonable, um, and I don't even know really what to say. I don't think that my commentary is going to provide you with any additional value here, but let's just laugh at this article together. So Jamie Killen of Insider tells the story of Julio Gonzalez, who says, quote, I'm a landlord with 24 properties. We're suffering during Biden's eviction ban, too, and no one is helping. Now, this is him pictured here in front of a private jet. Um, sir, I have a recommendation, actually. Have you considered getting a job? Because that's one thing that you can do. You see, the rest of society, when we want to pay our bills, we have to uh, get a job or get a real job, as some people might say. And you haven't done that yet. So, um, I don't know, get a job. But, you know, this gets worse. Uh, you know, you'd think that, okay, maybe this headline is meant to be a little bit sensationalist to grab you. And then he makes a more reasonable argument once you're there. But that's not actually the case. He's going to go on to try to pull on your heartstrings by complaining about his loss of profits due to the moratorium on evictions. I am not joking about this. So let's get into it. I'm Julio Gonzalez, the CEO and founder of specialty tax engineering firm Engineered Tax Services. I also own 24 properties on the East Coast and have been a landlord for 20 years. The Biden administration's latest eviction moratorium, which lasts through October 3rd and covers most U.S. counties, including mine, has led to difficult conversations. Oh, has it? Many of our tenants feel like they are in a dire situation. Unfortunately, we as landlords are too. 20 of my properties are residential and I currently have have four tenants taking advantage of the federally mandated eviction moratorium. The moratoriums have led to a significant and negative impact in profitability for me. It's been a 15% loss in profit. Oh no, residents not paying rent essentially leads to free living while landlords still have to pay for taxes, utilities, and more. We've been fortunate to be in a position where we can sustain no income and we try to be very compassionate and understanding for our tenants. We're trying to extend their leases so we can make enough over a period of time to make up for some of these losses, but most people don't have that kind of staying power. I see that with my clients every day. They're no longer able to make their payments. They're liquidating their properties. They're selling them to private equity. It's very tragic. And while we've been able to sustain our properties, we have stopped all improvements and renovations because we don't have the capital. We've really tried to be tight with our budget to get through the eviction moratorium, but really, how many more months can we go? That must be super fucking hard for you. So in response to seeing his tenants struggle to pay rent, his reaction is to cry and uh, scream, what about me? What about you? You have um, 24 properties and just four of your tenants are benefiting from the eviction moratorium. And on top of that, you've only seen 15% loss in profit. And yet you want us to feel sorry for you as a leech on society, because that's effectively what most landlords are. The overwhelming majority of landlords, people like yourself, are just leeching off of society, making a profit while doing absolutely nothing. You're not contributing to society. We don't care about you. Get a real job if you're not making money during a pandemic when your tenants are struggling. But because he wanted this to be, you know, a more productive conversation, he has some policy solutions that he would like to uh, propose. Okay, so what are those? First, there needs to be a program in place to not only help those being evicted, but a program to help the landlords out as well. The government should give landlords a moratorium on bank loans, taxes, and utilities. Second, proof of hardship could eliminate some of the questions landlords like me have about our tenants. We see that there's an incredible amount of open jobs and communities are opening up in spite of the COVID-19 Delta variant. It's likely that our tenants have received jobs and are now working. Our tenants don't have to provide any documentation to us, so they could be working and we see that they're buying new goods, but they're not paying rent. We're not there yet. But if it becomes clear people are taking advantage of the moratorium, we would have to discuss possible legal action with our legal team. So when I read this, I think this is like the worst landlord ever because he's actually watching his tenants to see, oh, what are they what are they doing? I see some grocery bags. Are they buying groceries? They could be using that money to pay rent. I mean, what a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Your tears are meaningless because you are a leech on society. 
get a real job, sir. I don't care about your crying. In fact, I do have a video feed of him um, explaining a situation uh, and, and how difficult it is for him. Yeah, I'm sure that all of the tears that he's wiping away with dollar bills, just collecting money, doing nothing, is uh, is uh, filling up his house. I'm sure that he's got to, you know, take a few less private jet trips because, you know, some tenants, four out of how many hundreds he has at his, his properties, I'm assuming that, like, each property that he owns houses multiple tenants, four of his tenants are, you know, not able to pay rent. And they're benefiting from the temporary eviction moratorium. So he thought that him throwing a temper tantrum publicly would cultivate sympathy for him and other landlords. Except, like, you're the worst person. If you wanted to cultivate sympathy for a landlord, what you do is you um, you do, like, an op-ed from an old lady who owns, like, one extra home that she's renting out. And she can't pay the rent because of that eviction moratorium. Like, that's what you do. That's effective propaganda. But this propaganda where you're literally posing in front of a private jet and you're saying that it's so difficult for you because you have 24 properties and four tenants aren't able to pay rent. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Again, I don't mean to be redundant, but get a fucking job. <laughs> that's that's all that I can say about this situation. I can't be any more charitable. I just have to say, get a fucking job. Stop whining. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, brother. We don't care. Beta male, not a beta male.